visitors and subscribers. Nice to meet you here again at Crazy Engines channel. Today we will continue to learning very interesting radial engine. It's the UMS Evolution UT735 7 cylinder radial engine. And the task for today is to dismantle it partially to learn its internal structure and design. Also, I would like to check the condition of its internal parts after several hours of working on the uh, bench. So, story uh, could be interesting and thank you for watching. So, removing of the exhaust collector ring is the most uninteresting part of this video. So this is the master cone rod and this is the slave cone rods and I should say that engine inside internally is amazingly clear. Fuel distribution is quite simple, so the curb and uh, fuel distribution is uh, the going through the crankcase directly without any special uh, distributors. So, going to remove the first cylinder with the master rod. Very interesting construction, whole cylinder liner. How it's kept on the uh, crankcase. There is two semi rings, and on the cylinder there is a slot and semi rings installed on this slot, and press the cylinder liner and the head also press it. Uh, and fix uh, on the crankcase. So most interesting. Yes, got it. The 
looks very nice. And it doesn't matter that engine use just 8% of uh, motor oil in the fuel mix. Only 8%. Piston penis looks very good and cylinder looks also very good. Also interesting that piston has a two slots to two grooves. Uh, on the first groove there is a piston ring. Uh, fixed and the second is using as far as I understand to keep the oil to make a better lubrication of cylinder walls cylinder liner inside looks also very clean I will repeat this interesting moment how cylinders are fixed. Uh, there is a slot, installed like that, and then fixed on the crankcase in that position. Very interesting, unusual construction. A few words about uh, engine box content. It's also rather interesting. First of all, engine manufacturers supply a spare parts, a, a spare push rods, and all uh, parts of the valve mechanism. So it means it's very easy on the field to load them. The second, which is very interesting also, it's the confirmation of the test run. So, you can see there is a all engine cylinders, temperature readings and uh, uh, the engine performance also fixed on the uh, idle and uh, on the top uh, speed. Also, uh, it's interesting that they are also measuring the thrust. And there is double checking of the quality. Test it, check it and approved. Interesting, very interesting.
my dear visitors and subscribers. Hope you enjoyed this video and you found something interesting in engine construction and an eternal design. Thank you again for watching. I wish you a very nice day. See you very soon at Crazy Engines. Thank you. Bye.